For many of us, our homes are our safe places. It protects us from many of the things outdoors. But what if these uninvited guests still find themselves in your house? I'm talking about pests and annoying insects. Who would want a mosquito buzzing near their ear when they're trying to fall asleep? And certainly no one wants a bedbug infested house. Fortunately, there are a few easy ways to get rid of these annoying pests. If you have uninvited guests in your house, from fire ant colony casting to fly bags, here are 15 effective ways to get rid of all insects at home. Number 15. Fire Ant Colony Casting Fire ants are known all around the world for their painful bites and nasty stings. These dark reddish-brown ants are not only harmful to humans, but also to other insects and animals around them. These insects are considered to be an invasive species found in the southern parts of the United States, from Maryland, Texas, California, and New Mexico. Red ants usually build large mound nests that expand into irregular shapes under the ground, usually between two and four square feet in size. Although these insects like to stay outdoors most of the time, they could be nasty threats if they're too close to your house. Fire ants can easily turn a blissful afternoon outside into an itchy and painful experience. If you ever get stung by a fire ant, you'll feel immense pain, which will immediately turn into itching and irritation. It may not subside for a few hours or even a few days later. If you're allergic to fire ants, you might even die from anaphylaxis. And so these guys right here thought of a way to get rid of the fire ants if they get too close for comfort. These guys poured molten aluminum into a fire ant colony. Not just any fire ant, particularly red imported fire ants, which are incredibly harmful not only to humans and other animals, but to the environment as well. The cast they pulled out of the colony is a huge abstract aluminum cast that weighed about 17.9 pounds. Millions of fire ants are exterminated in the United States not only using this method, but through various poison, gasoline, fire, or boiling water. I guess this is a pretty cool way to exterminate these ants. You get rid of the pests, and you get a cool art installation out of it. Neat! Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Pitfall Traps Just as this name suggests, this next entry shows a smart and simple trap that uses a pitfall to catch insects. You might think it sounds ineffective, but just take a look at this video. If you have a backyard and you want to catch the creepy crawlies in there, then you can easily try this out. First, just dig a hole deep enough to fit a cup or a similar container in the hole. Now, you just have to level the ground near the trap so insects can walk in and inevitably fall into the cup or container. Simple. You need to check the trap quite frequently though, since it's a pretty simple trap. Although it can be limited for catching ground insects, it can fit a lot of circumstances. Number 13. Don't follow the light. Just take a look at this light trap located on Mount Mao Sun in Vietnam. At first glance, you wouldn't even imagine that it's a trap. You might think that this is an art installation with butterflies, moths, and other flying insects propped on it. But this is actually a light trap. This is only one of the many types of traps to control flying insects. They're quite harmless, but they can be pretty annoying and disturbing if they're flying all around the place. These black light and illuminated tarps are quite effective at drawing them in. There's been a lot of discussion on why moths and other flying nocturnal insects are attracted to light, and most people agree that they're not really attracted to lights. Instead, their senses get overloaded and they get disoriented when they see a light trap. Although we can't really speak about insects in general, after all, they might have similar traits, but they're still ultimately different. Most nocturnal insects fall for the light tarp trap, though. Creating a tarp or white sheet trap is quite simple. Just hang a white, cheap cotton sheet vertically over a clothesline or tied to trees just like a trap. You also need weights at the bottom of the trap to keep it taut. Finally, just have a bulb shine onto or in front of the white sheet. You can even use flashlights or candles if you wish. But if you have black lights or mercury vapor lights, then they're more preferable. Open areas such as these fields and mountains are the best spots to set up these traps. Number 12. Bed Bug Heat Frenzy Bedbugs are one of the worst insects you can find at home. These insects are found all across the planet, from North and South America to Africa, Asia, and even Europe. It's a common misconception that the existence of bedbugs signifies a dirty place. However, this isn't really true. Bedbugs are found even in beds of five-star hotels and resorts, and they usually inhabit places where people sleep, hence their name. 
These insects hide during the day and they're active during the night. These insects may be small, but they're known to be able to travel over a hundred feet in just one night. But these little pests prefer to live within eight feet of your bed where they can easily reach you while you're sleeping. They can't really spread any serious diseases, but getting bit by them is pretty annoying. They can cause annoying itching that persists all throughout the day, and it can even cause you to lose sleep. It's a different story if you're allergic to their bites. These insects are good at hiding because of their slim and flat bodies that allow them to fit in the smallest of spaces. These insects also don't starve, and they survive even without a blood meal for long periods of time. You might even unconsciously bring a bed bug to your house while you're traveling. Most people fail to realize that they brought an uninvited visitor with them from outside. Because they can be quite sneaky, it can be tricky to get rid of them. One effective way to deal with them, though, is through heat treatment. In this video, a bed infested with bedbugs is being heated through this machine. Now you'll probably ask, how come the owners let the bedbugs increase up to this point? Not everyone has a reaction to bedbug bites, so some people fail to notice that they're even under the bed sheets. The homeowners only notice the bedbugs when they change the mattress cover. At this point, the bedbugs are exposed to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but in a few more minutes, the temperature will increase up to 118 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a heat so unbearable for them that all of them will die within 90 minutes of exposure. Number 11. Yellow Jacket Trap Yellow jackets are aggressive pests that are equipped with a very painful sting and bite. Some people might mistake them for honeybees, and we all know that those insects are friends. Yellow jackets have a distinct pattern on their bodies, and they also have a very distinct yellow and black color. Their colors are brighter than honeybees, and they also have a thinner back. These insects can be found in various places throughout North America. These insects usually build their nests underground, but they're not that picky. They'll make their homes in hollow logs, trees, attics, or even between the walls of your house. Since these guys don't lose their stinger, one yellow jacket can attack you multiple times if you get too close to their nests. This man had a problem with yellow jackets invading a hummingbird feeder in his backyard. The solution? Just some apple juice, sugar, yeast, baking soda, and a plastic bottle. His DIY trap is quite easy. Just cut the bottle into two parts. Next, mix apple juice, water, and sugar to attract them. To kill the yellow jackets, put it inside the bottle, then place the other part of the bottle with the opening inside. And voila! It's a trap that doesn't use poison and doesn't harm the environment. As you can see, the trap is super effective, and you can even add yeast to attract the yellow jackets faster. Once they get inside the bottle, they fly straight into the sweet liquid and get trapped. Although take note that if you have honeybees around your backyard, it's a good idea to use meat with water instead so as not to attract honeybees. Number 10. Mosquito Magnet Trap Most animals and insects on our planet have their own role in our ecosystem. Each of them balances the population of another creature. But mosquitoes? Well, one could say that we can live perfectly fine without them. Most people think that mosquitoes' existence is pointless, and they're just annoying buzzers to humans. And they're mostly right. Aside from itchy bites, they also spread a lot of deadly diseases such as dengue, zika, chikungunya, and malaria. It's no wonder that a lot of people immediately want to get rid of them if they ever see one near their homes. In this video, a man gathered a huge chunk of mosquitoes using a single trap. Just take a look at that. The mosquitoes he caught using this trap are kind of repulsive to look at, not gonna lie. He used a mosquito magnet trap to catch these mosquitoes. This trap emits carbon dioxide, heat, and moisture that attracts mosquitoes. And as you can see, it's pretty effective. Number 9. Fly Trap The house fly is the most common fly found almost anywhere. They can exist in and outside of your very own home. They're found worldwide, and people all around the world can testify how annoying they can be in certain circumstances. These insects have short lifespans, but they can reproduce quite quickly. They really don't bite, but they carry more than 100 different pathogens, from salmonellosis to typhoid and tuberculosis. They can also contaminate your food just by landing on it. Remember, these insects feed on trash, feces, and other decaying substances. They frequently defecate, so it's a bad idea even if one fly touches your food. In this video, a man uses a simple fly trap using a Coke bottle. He cut the Coke bottle into two, separating the opening of the bottle from the rest of the container. Next, he placed some meat inside the bottle and filled it with water. He also drilled a tiny hole in the bottle cap and finally placed the other part of the bottle inverted. 
Once a fly gets attracted by the scent of the meat inside, they'll dive into the water, and because of the tiny opening, they'll be unable to fly back outside. This simple trick caught a lot of flies. That might not be the entirety of their population, but it's enough to catch house flies flying too close to your home. Number 8. Stink Bug Trap Stink bugs, particularly the brown marmorated stink bug, is considered a pest and an invasive species in the United States. It was first discovered in Allentown, Pennsylvania in the fall of 1996 and soon spread east to New Jersey, then Virginia by 2004. Today, these bugs can be found in most states of the U.S. These insects earn their name because they release a very nasty odor when they're disturbed or crushed. It's perfectly understandable why people would immediately want to get rid of stink bugs as soon as they see the first sign of infestation in their homes. A tech team created a homemade and inexpensive trap for stink bugs. I'd even bet that most of the things you'd need for this trap are already in your home. A turkey pan, water, dish soap, and a lamp. That's it. All you gotta do is fill the turkey pan with some water and dish soap, then point the lamp towards it. Leave the trap overnight, and the next morning, you'll see a lot of stink bugs trapped or dead in the soapy water. Number 7. Killing Flies I already told you about house flies, and in this next entry, you'll see another foolproof yet simple trap. You just need a bottle, some water, plastic, and any fishing bait. Place your bait, like shrimp or a piece of fish, inside the container, then fill the bottle with water more than halfway. This way, the annoying flies will get their wings wet once they get inside, and they won't be able to flap their wings to fly back out. Next, just pour some syrup inside the bottle and incorporate it with the water. Finally, remove the safety band around the bottle opening, then put a Ziploc bag with one tiny hole at the corner. You just need to create a makeshift funnel so that the flies won't be able to get out once they're inside the trap. And that's it! Just leave this trap in the problematic area and you'll surely catch some annoying flies in no time. Number 6. Giant Wasp Nest Removal Wasps generally have a bad rap, and honestly, who wouldn't be scared or annoyed by insects that can easily sting you? But despite their occasional aggression, they do play a role in our ecosystem, just like honeybees. You can easily avoid wasps outdoors, but what if the wasps created their nest right in front of your house? Or worse, inside your house? Well, they may be underappreciated insects, but they can be considered pests if they invade your home. In this video, a huge wasp nest is getting removed because it's literally propped right outside of a homeowner's window. Just take a look at this huge nest. You might be wondering why do wasps build their nest near human settlements in the first place? You might also be wondering just why wasps are attracted to our homes. It's quite simple. They want the ideal location for their nests, and they want to live as comfortably as they can. That's why they see your porch ceilings and overhangs as ideal nesting places. Thankfully, a lot of people can easily take on the job of removing the nests. Just a scraper, liquid with dish soap, some nasty bug spray, and the wasps are gone. Number 5. Simple Cockroach Trap Many of us consider cockroaches as the most icky and disgusting creatures. While it's quite understandable, the feeling of these insects crawling on your body is enough to make anyone shiver in disgust. It's quite hard to kill them because they're pretty adaptable and hardcore creatures. A cockroach can still live even after their head is cut off. Its body can still continue to operate separately from its head, but it'll eventually die because without a head, they can't eat or drink. But if you're dealing with a lot of cockroaches in your house, you can use the easy and simple trap this man used to get rid of the cockroaches crawling around his house. He used an old jar, then put Vaseline in the jar's interior, as well as the jar's opening. Next, he put some peanut butter and dried dog food inside the jar, then waited. In just a few hours, he caught more than 10 cockroaches inside the jar. The cockroaches first get attracted by the delectable scent of peanut butter, and once they crawl into the jar, they realize all too late that they couldn't get back up. Number 4. Horsefly Trap Horseflies are blood-sucking insects that usually feed on cattle, horses, and occasionally even humans. They're found in both suburban and rural areas near bodies of water, but they're usually more problematic in farms where their favorite snack exists. These creatures are usually gray or black, and they can grow up to 30 millimeters long. Just like common house flies, it's extremely hard to catch these fellas, but you can't let them be because their bites are pretty nasty. They can also reduce milk production from dairy and beef cattle, and they can also disturb the poor mammals while they're grazing. 
Allergic reactions from their bites are also possible. Fortunately, one smart fella built this trap in his backyard, and it's disgusting how well it works. As horse owners, they frequently find horseflies problematic, but this horsefly trap worked like a charm. The structure and materials of the trap are pretty simple. You just need some door hinges, plexiglass, wood, and you're good to go. First, they built a simple box out of wood, then laid a plastic trash bag on top. Next, add some soap and water, then place the plexiglass on top at a 45 degree angle. This trap is actually quite simple. As the flies buzz and fly above the trap, they'll inevitably hit the plexiglass and fall into the soapy water with no chance of flying again. And as you can see here, it worked wonders. Number 3. Snake Trap Perhaps not a lot of people are dealing with snakes near their homes, but this guy right here created one of the most innovative ways to catch a snake using a bamboo trap. He used a tube of bamboo, then created a mechanism that pierces the inside of the tube when a creature crawls inside. Pretty neat trick, but perhaps not the most humane. It gets the job done though, and after putting up several of these traps, you'll surely catch the terrifying snake slithering around your house. Number 2. Bucket Mouse Trap While most people keep rodents as pets, certain rats and mice do more harm than good. They can do a lot of damage from food to furniture, and they also carry some pretty nasty diseases. This man was tired of the mouse crawling around his house, so he created a pretty simple mouse trap. First, he used a pail and a tilting lever. Using a cardboard box, he created this platform, then hot glued a stone on the other side. On top of the platform, he hot glued some nuts and some other hard food to act as bait. He put the lever on top of the pail and done. If a mouse walks on top of the platform to eat the snacks, the cardboard box will tip down causing the mouse to fall inside the pail. If you dislike using poison for rats and mice, then perhaps this is the most effective way for you to catch them. Number 1. Fly Bags We've already established how annoying flies can get. So if you've ever seen a bag of water with a penny inside hanging outside of a house, then here's the explanation behind it. If you're not a fan of loose change, then you can use this trap to get rid of some spare coins and flies hanging around your house. The results of this trap are quite debatable though. Some people claim that it doesn't work, while some people swear by this method. The explanation is pretty simple. Flies get disoriented by rapid light change, so if they encounter a light ray by these water bags with pennies or foils, they'll quickly scatter away. What do you think of these innovative yet simple tricks? Do you have your very own trick to easily get rid of pests up your sleeve? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.